What is good, High Heat fam? Your boy is back for a different kind of video today. I'm not gonna lie. Today we're gonna be talking about the underdog story of my man George Janko and how Logan Paul is just been taking too many fucking L's. And he dropped a recent video saying he got the best year of his life. That's a fucking lie. All right. First to start off, let's start off from the very beginning, boys, shall we? Real quick, let's talk about the controversies Logan Paul has had this year to know that it hasn't been his best year. First, we have the whole crypto zoo situation, which uh, I'm not going to lie. It's been over a fucking year since he said he was going to pay them back. And uh, instead, he's hired new lawyers and tried to drop the case, which um, it's not going pretty good for his side. But you know what? It's cute. It's cute that Logan Paul thinks he's going to get away with it. You know what? But he will pay for it, boys. I can guarantee, if not CoffeeZilla, please make another video for this because uh, we just can't be asked with Logan Paul situation right now with CryptoZoom. Other situations going on is whole the whole George Janko situation where he's just, George is supposed to be his best friend or one of his best friends and he just downplays him on his religion. He just belittles him on his own podcast on Impulsive. It, it's, just, it's just embarrassing, honestly. I just can't be asked and I'm so fucking glad George has left that fucking toxic environment and now he's just doing his own thing and he's fucking killing it especially with his new andrew tate podcast episodes both part one and part two racking millions of views and just shows just how good an actual podcaster george actually fucking is and the impulsive podcast you could see that he wasn't talking that much and he was maybe like the third wheel of the whole show with mike and logan but in his own show he's carrying the conversation and he even made andrew tate even think about some of these things that they were talking about in certain topics religion how the man is supposed to be the household and the family what it takes to go through heartbreak like all these different topics and he's managed to make andrew say think which is pretty top tier if you ask me now another thing we should talk about is how uh, impulsive is doing pretty bad right now in recent views as you can see the recent video hasn't even hit 140k views which is something else man it's not looking especially when you have that big platform of logan paul and the whole positive thing and let's not even forget about the fact that Logan's even tried belittling George Janko and just calling him out saying they wouldn't get as many viewers. Well, how that turned out. Nice. I feel like everybody loves seeing an underdog story and this is probably one of the best things we could actually see. George is killing it on the podcast. He's racking up views. He's getting these cool guests, Patrick Bet David, Andrew Tate, you know, and I'm not gonna lie. It's not looking like a good year for Logan, especially when Logan was also trying to go after his own blood he was going after his own brother jake and just trying to belittle his accomplishments and not appreciating his things at the end of the day logan paul's taking l's george janko's taking a w and um let's just see what happens in 2024 for logan paul himself but w's george janko for this i'm not gonna lie boys this is a very interesting video very different video i'm not gonna lie but comment down boys if you guys want me to do another kind of these videos kind of like a series of uh controversies or people like that but yeah boys comment down like subscribe and peace